everyone, it's Miss Nikki, your Storytime Reader. I have a new read aloud for you today. Spring is around the corner, which means planting season will be here soon. And as we dive a little deeper into our plants and seed unit in the classroom, I thought this book titled Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt is the perfect book to get us excited about gardening. There's so much to see in a garden, like all the plants and little sprouts, but there's a lot going on beneath the soil too that we don't normally see. Okay, let's dig right into this book and learn more. Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt, written by Kate Messner, with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there? I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pull bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We patch them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, Carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick pukes and zucchini harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I am after grasshoppers. 
ready to swoosh, but snap, someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. Strand by silken strand, she'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves, where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden bed. The ladybugs and bumblebees Earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Author's note. Every garden is a community garden. Do you know why? You may work hard planting seeds and pulling weeds, but plants can't thrive without the help of all those small gardeners down in the dirt. Some help by controlling pests that would like to gobble up your broccoli and tomatoes before you have a chance to eat them yourself. Some help by creating tunnels which bring air into the soil and let water drain more easily. And believe it or not, some help just by going to the bathroom right next to the green beans. This adds important nutrients to the soil. A healthy organic garden isn't a garden without bugs. It's packed with lots and lots of living things, all working together with the human gardeners to nurture healthy plants. The end. Isn't it amazing how plants and animals and insects all work together to keep the earth healthy, aerated and fertilized. The next time you are outside or in your garden, take some time to explore, observe and thank all the little helpers who make your garden grow and keep the earth healthy. Please join me next week for a new book. Until then, take care and stay curious.